Hello, my loves. How are you? So, I have a three card spread here that I am doing. Okay. Um, well, not a three card spread, a pick a pile spread. So, I have three piles here, and I'm calling this the Maggot Brain spread it's one of my favorite songs by Funkadelic okay and I'm using this phrase to just say like okay what is the main blockage that you've been dealing with like what is the maggot that's like eating away at your brain right now I know it's kind of gross to think about but um you know it's true sometimes we have things that go on um, in our lives or, you know, certain cycles that go on in our lives that we really haven't cleared out yet. And it's important to kind of um, just gain a little perspective on what's happening in our lives. Sometimes you need to just peer in into your life and to kind of break things down in detail. Um, and sometimes you don't always have the time to meditate. So that's another reason why I wanted to do this spread is because I know some of you are like really busy and you don't always have, you know, an extra, you know, 10 to 20 to 30 minutes during the day to kind of sit down and just be in your own energy and within your thoughts. So um, that is kind of why I'm doing this spread, kind of a way to kind of like do that for you a little bit. Okay, so I have three piles here, and I want you to just kind of, um, I'll move it over a little bit so you can see. And I promise I'll get a better camera eventually. I'm just kind of working with what I have right now. But if you want to meditate for a few moments, and just think about what it is that's been kind of like eating away at you, whatever anxiety that you struggle with, that's kind of just proven itself to be really, really ugly, a really ugly presence in your life. And I want you to think about how to clear that, okay? So just take a few minutes, and I want you to just... Just breathe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start, okay? If you chose pile number one, this is what I have for you, okay? You have fragmentation. Ooh, so somebody has been very double-minded. This is like the dark side of Gemini to me, like being double-minded. Um, you know, the Bible speaks about <laughs> trying not to be of two minds, okay? And being of one solid mind, one solid, you know, um, idea, one solid, solid, good grief, <laughs> one solid ideology, okay, one belief, one mind, um, and this is at 27, so two plus seven is nine, so I'm feeling like you're at the end of this cycle, and with the moon behind here, there's still a little something you don't know about, but I feel like you're gonna come out of that, okay, so that is not the center of your reading, okay, and we also have Lord Ganesh, infinite abundance, obstacles are being removed, spiritual support and connections are increasing. So whatever you have been going through, okay, whatever you've been struggling with um, within your mind, because I feel like this is just mental energy since it's saying fragmentation here, you are going to be released and it's going to lead right into prosperity, okay? So I'm feeling like that is something for you as well. And we have, yeah, your health is improving. So this is, oh, okay, mental health. Okay, mental health, mental health, mental health. Yeah, your mental health is improving. Improving. You're no longer going to be double-minded and wondering, can I do this? Well, I can't do that. Well, if I go up here, you know, I'm sensing like neurotic, anxious energy. So if you've been really anxious or you struggle with anxiety, I'm seeing that, you know, you're, you're going to get help. And it may come from... Um, new friends or a new community around you that are really going to ease your mind, okay? Because there's nothing worse than being having anxiety and being around people that don't understand anxiety or mental illness in general, okay? And then you have the, I always think I pronounce this wrong, we, the Hathors or Hathors, 
deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Yeah, you're being reborn anew, okay? Coming out of this cycle of um, having bad health. All right. And Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. I really think that it's interesting that you have fragmentation here and being double-minded. And then <laughs> it says double mission here. Okay, so you probably have a lot of Pleiades energy or galactic ancestry. Okay, and you're here leading a double mission. Okay, you're like a double agent, um, which can sometimes cause you to be double-minded if you're here for two different purposes, both to, you know, heal and love and to spread love. But, you know, if it's not very clear to you right now, I'm feeling like that purpose is going to become clear to you very, very soon. Okay, and it's going to come after this anxiety goes away. And you have the Page of Cups in reverse. So you haven't emotionally been handling things very, very well. Um, I feel like that is... And I'm just going to get like three cards here to help us explain this. But I feel like you haven't been dealing with things emotionally very well. Like you're plentiful and you do have abundance. But it's just like the way that your emotions have been so unstable. It's been blocking you from your abundance. Yeah, you're... You've been feeling disillusioned. So this is really like anxiety too, like seeing things that really aren't there. Okay. Um, so that could be blocking your abundance. And that's possibly what Lord Ganesh, this um, ascended master, this angel is trying to tell you about is that you're blocking your own abundance by focusing and having anxiety about things that aren't really true okay yeah queen of cups you're coming in you're going to be the queen of cups so you're no longer going to be this page you're going to come in with improved health and you're going to be the queen of cups okay um so the situation is definitely improving your health is improving your emotional and mental health is improving and if you are struggling please see in my description box if you just feel like life is too much right now if you feel like the community you're around doesn't understand you and you're feeling suicidal and all of these other things please call the national suicidal hotline okay oh that flipped out when i said that yeah if you're just been struggling so much financially that you just feel like you can't get by um you feel like there, that nobody's there to help you nobody's here to nurture you because that's what's going to come out here okay you feel like nobody's here to help you and really nurture you and get you through this process okay there is always 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 mental health clinicians who are will take okay state insurance okay um and they'll be able to help you. There are apps now. They're very expensive. But, you know, if you could just afford, like, a one appointment a month on an app to Zoom with a professional to, you know, help you out, I would say go ahead and do that, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. The Queen of Pentacles, yeah. So you could very well be, like, a Taurus or a um, Cancer Pisces, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? Um... But you have a double mission, so I feel like in the physical realm, you have a different mission than you do in the spiritual realm, okay? But I'm seeing mirroring here, so I'm not seeing this as two different people. I'm seeing these two both as you coming together. So you may have gone on a spiritual journey or began or coming out of like a dark night of the soul, um, type of energy, and it's really going to combine your spirit body and your physical body together so you can be on one accord okay and that's going to cause your abundance to come flooding in you just need to get your emotions in check is what i'm hearing for you pile one yeah okay so there's something where this is also the virgo card so there's something that you haven't been working on or you haven't been paying too much attention to and i feel like it is your emotions and can i just get another card to clarify that please I feel like you just haven't been putting the work in because you feel like it's tedious. Um, I'm not going to take all of that. I'll take this one. Yeah, you've been feeling weak. You've been feeling very, 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 very weak. So um, this is also the card of Leo. So you've just been feeling like you don't want to put the work in because you feel like you don't have the strength to put the work in to deal with your emotions and to balance your emotions. But I'm seeing that everything is going to be okay unless you need to use your intuition okay to help get you through and if you need to see a mental health specialist you can go ahead and do that there's nothing wrong with 
needing a little extra help to get stable, okay? There's nothing wrong with needing a little extra help to make sure that you're you're operating at your best and your high. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. You're operating at your highest self, okay? Absolutely nothing wrong with that. So thank you, group one. If you need anything um, as far as a personal reading, my description box will have everything that you need. I do have a business phone. It does not cost you anything, okay, at all to text or to call my business phone for a personal reading. If you don't want to do it over the phone, okay, or if you don't want to do it through text, I can also send you a short five-minute video through your email, okay, for a personal reading. If you're the type of person that I just said you're busy and you don't really have time to slow down, um, I can also do that so that you can check on that video whenever and however you would like, all right? So bye-bye, pile one. All right, pile two. So you have, ooh, you have hiding your true self, and this is out of 14. You may be on a life path five. Hiding your true self. Don't you think it's kind of funny that she's wearing red, but she's supposed to be hiding herself, and red is a color that stands out a whole lot? So you are probably like an eccentric bunch pile, too. Like, you probably try to fit in, but even on your best day, you just don't, but you're still focused on hiding yourself, okay? Oh, the Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So you are divinely protected, okay? You are divinely protected by the Holy Spirit. Do you see that? I wish I can get the camera to focus a little bit more. I'm going to have to work on that. But, um, so you're meant to stand out, okay? You're, you're meant to stand out. The Holy Spirit, I like to think of as um, Uranus energy. So, um, I think about that, I think about Aquarius, okay? You are meant to be free. Like, the Holy Spirit is free. It comes and goes, it possesses people, and it does its job, and it leaves. Um, so there's also an air here where you may be feeling like you're staying in one spot too long, trying to get people to notice you, notice you blending in, um, or notice you trying to be like them like you're trying to get recognition and acceptance from a group of people that like you're not supposed to be trying to get acceptance from yeah reconsider reconsider yeah i think you need to reconsider your friend group your community or the people that you're hanging around majorly um deep cellular healing octurus energy i hope i'm saying that right physical and emotional healing yes Okay, this, this is similar to pile one where I said that your physical body and your emotional body need to come together in order for you to gain your abundance. You need to come into union with your higher self, okay? Um, I've actually never gotten this card before. It's really pretty. All right, here, and we also have protection. Call back your power, cut cords, and soul retrieval. Yeah, so what did I just say? You seem in pile two to be hanging around people that really don't deserve your energy, that really don't understand um, what you came here to do, okay? You didn't come here to fit in. You didn't come here to hide yourself. You came here because you have divine protection, okay? You came here with a mission, and you're divinely protected on that mission. Um, so you need to combine, you know, get rid of the pain in your emotional body and combine with your higher self so that you can, you know, receive this healing and all of that. Um, you also have the reverse queen of wands. So in most people's tarot reads the queen of wands symbolizes like a third party or like the other woman um or just like a troublemaker within your midst um for some reason i don't feel like this is you i feel like this is a domineering person in your life and i feel like they have stolen like a piece of your soul or they have done or said something to hurt you this is like leo sagittarius aries um 
you need to reconsider being around this person because it, that's, this could be the entire reason why you are feeling like you need to hide yourself is from this person or you or this could be you feeling like you need to hide how spiritual you are okay hide your spiritual gifts because you feel like they won't be understood and i feel like spirit is calling you to stop that okay and not do that so i am going to shuffle my cards and we're going to get a card for each of these five. Ooh. Okay, we have, that is so funny because I saw this in the reverse while it was in the deck. So the Holy Spirit wants to let you know that you're being protected, okay, and that this is a slow journey, but you will eventually get to where you are going, okay? And these miracles are going to come in slowly, but they're going to come, okay? Um, it, it, yeah, it says miracles will occur naturally. So when you're feeling like this, when you're feeling like you've been stabbed in the back and you've taken, I, I picture all the swords as like avenues of communication that you've tried to open up with the people in your community, with the people around you that made you feel like you were just beating a dead horse, that you're just constantly stabbed in the back. You need to reconsider who you're around, okay? Reconsider. Justice, yeah. So there's deep cellular healing that's going to allow you to have some type of justice. But with justice being in reverse, this is something that is like you couldn't get rid of it if you tried. This is something that you had to go through um, in order to persist on your journey. Okay. And for protection. Ooh, I love it when they fly out of the deck like that. Okay, so for protection, you have had the two of one so you may have had issues trying to figure out how to protect yourself okay you may want to i always feel weird advising people to go on pinterest and look at protection spells but i feel like you need to go on pinterest and look for protection spells because you're the only i think that last deck i don't think had a particular did they have a particular person with theirs i'm not even sure they just had a page with theirs okay um you have a whole queen of wands here, and I want to know what's up with their energy here. Ooh, okay, so somebody is coming in as the magician. The magician is the Virgo card, okay? The magician is the resourceful. He uses all of the elements around him, his wand, his sword, his pentacle, okay? His cup, he uses everything around him to um, maneuver out of situations or place himself in situations now with the cherry in reverse it's getting thrown off track so this person could very well have thrown you off track okay um you could be dealing with like i said leo sagittarius aries a virgo or a cancer person here there's also libra here with the justice card um this person has definitely thrown you off your balance but you are the you are a manifester like i said previously in another reading you may be a life path eight which means that you're able to to manifest okay you also may have the spirit number 22 in your chart somewhere which means you're like the master builder you can you can get out of anything and i just want to know one more card to kind of close our reading because i just want to know what's coming for you yes okay you have a new start coming for you okay you have your emotional self so you have your cup and you have your pentacle here okay and you're showing up as the queen of pentacles in your reading so not only are you going to gain financial stability you're going to have a new emotional start you're going to have a new emotional body a new yes your light body has been activated and your light body is going to take over okay and that's not a bad thing because all that essentially means is that you've gotten into contact with your higher self which is good Okay, and this um, energy of this person, okay, at the bottom of the deck here, this person that threw you off of your track, they're going to be reduced to a knight in reverse, okay? They're going to be moving out just as quick as they came in, okay? This person is not going to bother you anymore, okay? And can I just get a clarification for that? Because I feel like anybody that takes you off of your path in such a manner, oh, spirit has a lot to say about them. But can we get one card, please? 
anybody that takes you off of your spiritual journey is what you can should consider as demonic okay um oh gosh spirit why do you want me to take so many cards so i'm gonna just run through this real quick so you it's calling you to emotionally move away okay it's calling you to find your passion it's calling you to not have harsh and angry words, to not be tied up or whatever, but to be the empress, okay? Because you are the empress. This person is just, this person is but a lowly knight in reverse, okay? They're not even a queen of wands. They're trying to show up as the queen of wands, but they're not, okay? You're the empress, okay? You are the queen of pentacles. So that's what happens. The empress is also Libra, so this is also what happens when... <laughs> You tap into your power, okay? When you combine your light body with your physical self and you're on your divine purpose and you're back on track, you show up as the empress, okay? And you're able to communicate because what empress is also a card for a Libra. So thank you very much for being here with me. Pile number two. Just to let you know, if you need a personal reading from me, everything that you need is in the description box. Um, I do take advice. I am probably going to be starting another channel um, once this one grows just on advice. I will not be mentioning people's names, but I will be doing video advice. And I'll probably price that out as well. Um, but if you need a personal reading, I do have a business phone. Okay, and it costs you absolutely nothing to text or call that number and schedule an appointment with me if you want to do it over the phone. Or if you're too shy to do it over the phone, which I completely understand, I'm an introvert as well, which is why I don't show my face. You are more than welcome to have a video recorded of your reading, okay? I will record the reading just like how I'm doing now, talk to you just like how I'm doing now, and it'll just be personalized for you to look back at any time that you want, okay? So thank you very much, Pile 2. All right, Pile 3, you are my last pile. Let's see what you have, okay? What maggots are eating away at your brain? Ooh, fated to suffer. So you guys are self-sacrificers. Okay, and you're at the seven. So seven is the energy of completion. Seven is also a holy number, seven days of the week. Okay, God rested on the seventh day. Oh, what did I just say? Okay, so Master Jesus is forgiveness. You are on the right path of light, love, forgiveness, father, healing is possible at this time. So there's definitely masculine energy coming in here. So you may need to forgive a parent for making you suffer in unbelievable ways or just a masculine energy in your life. I'm really saying masculine just because I feel like that's what it is. Like a masculine energy has caused you to suffer in such a way that they have like poisoned you in some kind of way. And, and um, the ascended master Jesus is asking you to give that person forgiveness so that you can move on. So that could also be, you may want to watch all of these readings and just combine them as one because it's the same theme in all of these readings is um, getting out of your pain body, okay? Getting out of your emotional pain body. Uh, look for a sign. Ooh. Okay, and we also have Breath of the Cosmos, My Will to Thy Will, Micromanaging the Universe. Yeah, so you can't be saying that you're forgiving somebody but at the same time not really forgiving them and holding on to the pain and feeling like you have to suffer all of the time you need to forgive and move on it doesn't mean forget but forgive and move on because you can't you can't you know do what you you can't fill yourself up with what you need to if you're constantly holding on to the idea that you have to suffer to make other people's happy other make other people happy excuse me i'm starting to channel um because jesus did uh, if you're a christian or if you were christian then you can relate to the fact that you know they teach you that jesus died for everybody else's sins so if somebody has already suffered for you there's no reason for you to feel like you need to suffer okay um Oh my God, Anna, grandmother of Jesus, seeding the light, laying foundations and a divine plan. Yeah, there's a plan for your life, okay? And it's not suffering, okay? Even if you had to suffer in, in the beginning, it, it was it's, it's for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. You sign up to come here for a reason, okay? And the Empress in reverse, okay? 
There's a story about the Empress. She got her throne because she had to suffer to get her throne. She had to climb to get to where she is today. She moved all of her stuff outside with her, and she's the Empress, okay? Now, the Empress in reverse... I feel like I'm not going to read the reversal for this because I feel like you are embodying the Empress energy in reverse, like the Divine Mother, the like all-knowing, the um, woman who sits on the throne, okay, Divine Counterpart energy, but you're just not using it and that's why it came up in reverse, but that doesn't mean that you don't embody this, okay? So let me get some clarifying cards here and I'll start at the Empress since that's the only card that's going to come out in reverse here. Ooh, what do we have? The Knight of Swords. So this is somebody that, um, they're very, like, defensive. They're more defensive than the Page of Swords, but there's somebody that is very guarded, okay? It's somebody that, um, feels the need to... I don't know it's somebody that feels the need to protect themselves but like unnecessarily in my mind okay it's somebody that feels like they don't have another resort but to protect themselves and sometimes it's due to drama sometimes it's due to somebody not taking responsibility um excuse me i'm sorry taking responsibility for the situation that they've caused and maybe that's why you feel like you have to suffer because you feel like you always take the suffering from others you feel like you always 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 have to deal with the brunt end, or you get the short end of the stick you feel like you always have to clean up after everybody else's mess like you don't get the chance to be yeah i'm really feeling that like you don't get the chance to be crazy and emotional and irrational um you may be very reactive um but you don't get the chance to come out of pocket like how people do with you and you feel like you have to suffer through that and spirit wants to let you know that it's not true and that you don't have to be defensive with everyone. Okay, Master Jesus, can I get a clarifying card for you? Yeah, ooh, okay. So, it's asking you to forgive. Um, maybe you're going through a poverty cycle right now and it's very difficult for you to move on and it caused you to be thrown out of a period of like introspecting strong virgo vibes um page of cups here you may have had like emotions or, or or some type of plentifulness or some type of creative solution to something but maybe you weren't being heard and it's being asked that you forgive this person this person may be a virgo this person also may be like a libra or like libra virgo a uh, Virgo with a Libra in their chart or something of the sort. So it's really asking you to forgive this person, possibly for not seeing you as the Empress. Okay, um, but it's saying you're on the right path. This could also be like within a marriage that it's asking you to forgive somebody that you are married to or somebody that you are having a have a connection with. I've actually never got the Jesus card out of the Keepers of Light deck, like, ever. Yeah, so this person, it's saying look for a sign. So you or this person here that popped out, because I feel like this turned into a love reading. Um, you don't have to suffer for this, per for this person at all anymore. You don't have to. I'm feeling like you also may have children with this person. That's why the Page of Cups popped out here and the Empress popped out here. You don't have to suffer, okay? Um, there is hope. Okay, it's a small glimmer of hope since it's in the reverse, but there is hope for freedom. Okay, and you just have to look for it. You just have to look for it, and that may seem a lot harder than it is. You know, it's 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 easier said than done because I feel feel like in order to forgive channeling again, that's why I'm stumbling over my words. In order to forgive, you need to be optimistic. <clears> oh, <throat> somebody has throat chakra problems. Whoever this Virgo is, somebody's having the Virgo or Libra, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Somebody has heart chakra problems and they're unable to express themselves fully because I feel like it never takes me this long to get to a point. Um, in order to forgive somebody, you have to have a certain level of optimism. 
that happens. There has to be a certain level of you having optimistic thinking. So whether that's through positive affirmations, you meditating, or you just telling yourself, like, I can get through this or whatever, like positive self-talk. Yeah, that's what I meant to say, positive self-talk. That you, you need to use that in this situation in order to fully forgive this person. Um, it's possible that this person caused your financial struggles to begin with. Yeah, I'm hearing yes. <laughs> yeah, my angels are saying yeah. That caused you and your children to suffer, and it's asking for you to forgive this person. Yeah, we have the Hierophant here. So, you know, making a commitment to the universe and then trying to micromanage the commitment isn't going to work. So I'm feeling like you need to just focus on self. Oh, what do we have at the bottom of the deck? The Empress. So, you know, it's really calling you to just... Take a step back to breathe, okay? There's still a glimmer of hope, but you have to be optimistic and you have to want to look for it, okay? Oh, yeah, and not don't feel tied up by anything. Don't be anxious. Don't feel like you can't see, you can't hear, you can't speak, okay? Because this is essentially this is essentially somebody's senses being taken away from them, okay, or being bound. You're not bound or trapped or fated to suffer. For anybody at all okay you are a light worker you are meant to lay seeds and plant seeds okay that is your yes that is your purpose to plant seeds you're not meant to suffer at the hands of anyone you're meant to plant seeds okay and what do you do when you plant seeds you plant them you water them you take care of them and you move on we also got the page of swords in reverse. Didn't I tell you you were feeling a little defensive? You're feeling like you didn't want to start arguments. Yeah, oh God, I just cut the deck and saw this. You're feeling like you don't want to start arguments because you feel like it's just going to be a short-term type of a thing. It's going to lead to something else um, that you're not going to want to deal with. So you're in the position right now of not wanting to rock the boat. But unfortunately, you, you've got to move on anyway or you're going to get knocked off your path, okay, with the chariot in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So for you, pile three, this is a lot to deal with. you got the most cards out of everybody else. But my advice to you, I'm going to get an angel card because I feel like you need, you need a little bit more than just Jesus, okay? So let's get an angel card for you. Ooh, okay, okay, we're not taking three. <laughs> Ooh, wedding ask. Okay, so ask for help is a big thing here also. Yeah, you're not getting a new partner because that, that obviously that, that came up in reverse. Um, So ask for help with a situation and to heal your situation, your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. So like I just said, you need to forgive whoever this is that caused you to struggle financially. And then you will be able to move on. So there's a lot here about letting go of the pain within your emotional body so that you can prosper and be abundant. Um, I don't know what that looks like for you. If you need an extended reading, I'd be happy to give you one. I might do one off camera for myself okay so i hope that this helped you if you'd like a personal reading everything that you need is in the description box okay i try to make things available and affordable for you i do know that we're going through a pandemic right now and the funds that we used to have have um are no longer available to some of us so i have taken that into consideration and i can work on pricing with you okay so the number that i have for my business which you can text or call is completely free okay the uh, email that i provided for you if you don't want to talk on the phone because you're shy you're scared somebody might overhear you um or anything of that sort, I am able to do five minute videos and I can send that to your email for a price as well, okay? So I will talk to you later, Angel Babies, bye-bye.